Welcome back to part 16 of my Meowing Let's Play for Total War Warhammer 3. So, picking things up, we left them last time. We're just going to send Meow Ying over into Pome. So, I do want to try and get rid of that Chaos Realm trait while we can. We'll jump her in there, and then hopefully that trait will be gone next turn. So, we can then send her against the Greenskins who have pushed on in and taken Kunlan. And thanks to everyone that weighed in here at uh, Zhangqi saying we should sally on out and break the forces of Sonesh, Sonesh Rebels. It is a valiant defeat, but you guys reckon I should have this quite comfortably. So let's dive on in and break them. In we go. As always, thanks for your comments, advice, tactics, and suggestions. They're all greatly appreciated. Do keep them coming, as well as those unit name suggestions over on part one of this series. Also need to remember we've got the Ancestral Warriors summoned, so that should help us out uh, if they charge on in with that cavalry trying to flank us. Uh, all the Chaos Furies do have their expert flanker trait, though, so we do need to try and bring them down or watch our flanks where those Furies go. Let's start deployment. And yeah, I'm going to pull back and hold across here, I reckon, because that will allow me to hopefully hide my cavalry effectively over here and they can swing on round. So let's just have these guys watching the flanks. They might just charge the cavalry straight on in against us. have the peasants move over here. Anchor ourselves up against the rock. Plenty of missile troops. Some jade warriors in the center. And you guys don't need to be spread out anywhere near as much. We've got plenty of troops. And in you go. My astromancer. And the garrison. Begin. As close as you can get, yep. Pathfinding won't let it go over there, so that's fine. Love the little general speeches that we get. I know they're not as, um, I guess, flavorful as the kind of full speeches from Rome 1 and Medieval 2, but it's nice that the general of your army gives a little speech each time. I don't know how much variation there is on the voice lines if anyone's listened to it in detail yet. But a nice little addition, yeah. So they've all got... Uh, oh, not expert flanker. Devastating flanker, yep. Yeah. Doubles their charge bonus when attacking the rear or flank of an entity. Fun. Right, they're coming at us. They're going to flank over here. Crossbowmen, guided by ancestors. Jade warriors. Bringing harmony! Seeking Cathay's foes! Move as wind! But those guys take that position. With infinite pride! Walk them round, just keeping on them, because they're thinking about it. Bringing harmony. Move as wind. They're gonna fly over our front line, I would imagine. Won't summon the Ancestral Warriors yet. No, we don't have much time. Do them now. Protect my Jade Warriors. Once they've engaged, then we'll swing our cavalry round. Yeah, a little bit too late on them in the end. Oh, no, actually, maybe we caught them just right. Those Hellstriders going down like crazy. Cavalry, come on in. Here we go. <laughs> We blast them back. We can fire through there. Hold, 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 hold. You guys turn around. Deal with the Furies. Hold, 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 hold. Yeah, they wrecked my missile line. Rest of you just hold. Big lancers, come on in. Bring them all down. Maybe we'll get lucky and these guys will rally. Hit the marauders here, actually. Hell scourges. 
smash on in. Pull it back. I'm waiting for my cavalry to go in. Strike him there. Power him up. Wind blast through there, please. Strike back on in. There we go, missile troops. Turn it around, break them. Focus on these guys first, then we'll get back to the line. Pull it back, pull it back. Take him down, take him down, take him down. They're all starting to waver. Just got to hold a little bit longer. It's going to the back to all my troops. So that devastating flanker trait is working overtime for him. Blast through there. Was reasonable damage. Break him. Pull the cavalry back. They're going. We've got more troops than they do. The heavens guide me. There is a way. Seeking Cathay's bones. Anything for Cathay. They will perish. Sanctified dragons. Bringing a harmony. Sound the retreat. Take Lancers. Lancers go. Raise the dragon. Yeah, he's got those hell striders nicely. It's messy, but it doesn't need to be pretty with it being a garrison. It's just rebels. So I don't I don't think there's orcs nearby, so we should be okay. I mean, there are orcs nearby, but I don't think they've got an army ready to pounce on us straight away. Cavalry pull back. Yeah, swing them round. Wind blast through there. And then we're going to hit some of our own troops. But this should be okay. Fight as one. Oh, cavalry broke. That's not ideal. Fury. Keep going, Cav. Picking all these guys for now. Just rallied. They're going down over there. Nice. The Come on, mate. You've got this. Fire, 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 fire. Yang sends us. Here we go. Swing that cavalry round. Bold. Starting to swing in our favor. Dragon guard. Dragon guard. Crossbowmen. Yeah, they're going. They're going. Focus on bringing that lord down. So fast. Herald of Slanesh. 62 speed. Yeah, that's pretty fast. Good charge with the cavalry. Blank the flankers. And the they will perish. Buff them. Units are back. Repositioning. Shenyang sends us. Our leadership's fairly decent, so I kind of knew Let's if we could. Order. Move in formation for the Emperor. As long as they didn't shatter us, our troops would kind of trickle back on in. Problem is, though, a lot of these are marauders, so we're not going to get a full wipe of the enemy forces here. Not unless we wipe out four units. Come on. Break, damn you. Will of the dragons. Warriors. The Emperor expects. Key crossbows. Crossbowmen. All focus on that Lord, please. Cavalry. Marching as one. Yeah, pull back. Mage of the Celestial 
Wind blast through there should hopefully finish these guys. Nice. One carry unit still in there, but turn it around, get in there. Take him out. Yeah, there we go. Just the Lord now. Fast forward that. But crossbows, you got close enough there. There we go. It's a shatter. On, leadership's really good. Is it? It's 45. It's a lot of buffs. Yeah, miss. Draw around so my missile units can fire. My mind is ready. If we could, that'd be great. Just keep running around. I'll do it. A clear course. The heavens guide me. Yeah, I'm on. Keep running. There we go. Hi yourself up. There we go. Beautiful. Might as well see off those marauders or those and two of them, so they'll be gone anyway. To that. Yeah, that's fine. Great victory, but better than a valiant defeat. Lost 1,385. They lost 1,097. 84 remaining. That's fine. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, those those Furies. Note self when I do a Slanesh campaign. Fury spam early on. Not a bad idea. Devastating flanker is uh, devastating. A little bit of replenishment. Uh, no, give me some more money. I know we've got plenty, but we're going to go negative for a few turns with what I've got planned. So every, every little helps with the stockpile. Right. Research. We are going to keep going through this right now. Going through the center. Just for a little bit, and then we'll pick off some other bits and pieces that we want. If anyone who's played through a cafe campaign knows of any really good yin and yang techs, feel free to let me know the name of them and I'll have a look for them as we've gone through. So obviously we've got to remember we can get plus three harmony through some of this tech now as well. For the defense effort. So either yin or yang. Uh, you guys were pointing out that uh, heroes give plus one. Uh, so they're good in a pinch to help rebalance the... Uh, the yin and yang there. And we can get we can get Astromancers over at Pome, but we can get an alchemist here at Nangao. So thanks for the heads up there. Uh these are both Yang Alchemists. That's fine because I can go to this army. They give us increased mobility, which would be useful. Bureaucrat or martial artist. Go for martial artist, you'll be in the army fighting. Uh Pal San Li. Uh yeah, just can we get those thinking? Can we balance it out by getting a yin? Yes, we can. Yin Astromancer. There we go. Why does the Emperor forsake us? Right. Bozan Li, let's go for you. Recruit. Alchemist of Shang Yang. Instantly yeah, whacked us out there. Uh interesting to read your comments through on the whole harmony system. I think the vast majority of you guys said you, you don't really have a problem with it being as kind of tough and challenging as it currently is. One thing you'd like to see improved is maybe just have a uh, next turn counter to tell you, you know, what buildings you're building that are going to complete next turn, how that's going to affect the balance, just so to help you plan it a little bit more, which I can definitely agree with that. Um, yin or... Oh, it's only that one. That's the only one we've got that's yin to rebalance it, so I'll have to go for you. Back to balance. Good, good, good. I saw so names for this character. We'll try and name them next episode. 
the Griffin Legion Lots, you guys were saying give that to our other caravan master. Um, I think it's this guy. Yeah. Because he's actually got cavalry units in his army, whereas this one doesn't. So let's give him that one. And go to you. And you've got Warriors Bane that swapped in nicely. That's all good. The Iron Dragon's Disciple. Right, what can we give you? We can give you that stuff. Do you what what do you have? What spells? Or oh, metal shifting, of course. Yeah, metal. Makes sense for an for an alchemist. Yeah, law of metal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool, 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 cool. Enhanced uh metallurgy piercing. Ooh, viewment magical attacks. That's nice. Poison. Flaming. Oh boy. Which one of these to go? When do we even unlock those? Doesn't seem to have a skill requirement limit on them. So that's going to be interesting. Feel free to share your thoughts on which one of those we should go for. I feel like maybe the piercing one's quite good. Bring down enemies' armor. Then you get, you get a war horse as a mount. I I mean, you're a spell caster first and foremost. So you're having that speed to rush you around. I quite like the idea of having you fight on foot, actually. But we'll see. Let's give you that. Shield of Nangal. Yep. Spell resistance. Everything else is equipped. It's good. Ancillaries. Let's get some of these in here. And that's it. Cool, cool, cool. we we'll pop you into increased mobility in our army over here. One more turn left on those Celestial Dragon Guard. Um, so space for our to go in. We'll need to swap something out so that we can get another Terracotta Sentinel. The Lord Magistrate unless we leave strength. both of them with Dragon Warrior Poe. Uh, I guess if anything, maybe one of our Jade Warrior crossbows. So we just go down to two and two. Probably make the most sense. Fine. Uh, as for I this guy, ready. our Astromancer. Moment, I'm keeping you for balance. Probably send you to the wall to the Dragon Warrior. Celestial wind, reveal my path. Create our city. Nothing else to upgrade. What's our caravan doing? Six turns left. Okay. Right, let's end the turn. Nice and uneventful, except for a caravan encounter. Don't want to lose cargo. Draw weapons. It's a decisive victory. Good, good, good. Smash them down. Oh, our income with those celestial uh, dragon guard in there now. Uh, take the replenishment, guys. The dangerous lands you'd be marching through now. Someone besieged. Okay, yeah, we've come back. Oh, really? I don't really want to lose that much of the garrison because they can just replace. Okay, we'll fight that one in a minute. <laughs> okay. Trait removed. Yes. Oh, she still has one though, doesn't she? Yeah, I forget. It's three tiers. Self-flagellation. Okay, we haven't seen the greenskins move on out, so that's okay. Um, what we'll do for the moment is that we'll actually send you, Tim, out. Just to provide vision. I'm going to try and wound it though. I don't want to lose him. Yeah, just keep an eye on them for the moment. We could have sent the, the, the other Astromancer over there, but we're going to send him to the wall. We've got 23k built up, so that's fine. We'll try and bring Mao Ying back next time the Great Bastion really uh, kicks off. In you go. Increase mobility. Yeah, normal stance. Go here and swap a Jade Warrior crossbow. For a Terracotta Sentinel. Lovely. And... Stop recruiting that. 
Um, well, actually, yeah, you could you could recruit that because I'll get rid of one of these guys instead. Blade Warriors. We better have four of them. There we go. Not a, not a perfect army on the wall, but it, it'll do. It's got a good selection. Can't wait to see those Terracross Sentinels in action. In fact, we could, I guess, swap, give one of these to Yao you know, Ying if we really wanted to. Rather than having two in one army. Um, could keep moving, but we're currently getting some upkeep reduction, so I might as well stay here just for a turn. Get some get some magic in you. There we go. The celestial I mean, that chaos trait isn't terrible. Minus five control, minus ten leadership. But seeing as the greenskins aren't pushing on us just yet. I'll stay put for one more turn. Maximum of, I guess, two, really. Unless we see the greenskins make a big old push. I don't think there's anything else left to do. So we're going to stay there. Unassigned skill point for our caravan master. Nice. I can't get any more of smuggler's space in there. Cross caravan short route. Uh, shortcut route. We don't want to do that. I mean, we've actually... I think we've had those come up and I've not wanted the shortcut penalty or something like that. So that's fine. Tactician... Those are all pretty cool. But let's go through Inspiring Presence first and just buff up some of the four units you've got. You can give progress, though. How much longer have we got on the compass? Three more turns. Pretty sure we're nearly free of corruption, aren't we? If not completely free. Yep, looking nice and nice and clear. Nice and cleansed. Production cost, yeah, that's fine. Can we switch any of these things over? That's recruitment cost. We don't need any of that right now. Research rate. And income from trade. What is our trade income? Okay, yeah, because it could, it could be built up over time. Uh, research rate it isn't the best. I think I'm just going to go for increased. And we don't actually have a lot to actually build, but uh, we are going to be able to upgrade Nangal though next turn. So we're going to need all the money we can get. So let's go for maximizing income from trade. Ready to defend. We don't have the entirety of that province, so we can't do a commandment there. That's fine. Right. Okay. Quickly fight this one. Just need missile units to, to tear them down. They're not gonna they shouldn't be able to get to our line. Maybe the Lord will. Herald of Slanesh Shadows. Because they're pretty fast at 62 speed. How's that compared to the Marauders? I don't know if I can see. Dragon crossbows. Uh, we'll fall, fall off in exactly the same place. Their speed like. 38, yeah. Well, how's that compared to cavalry? Cavalry 66 speed, so yeah. This very fast. We do get the Ancestral Warriors, so in fact, I'll try and pop them out in front. Keep them busy and tied up with them. Try to get a bit closer. I love that animation of how they're summoned. That's that's awesome. They will perish. Then the ancestral war is in against the Lord. Send the cavalry to finish these guys off. Power up the ancestral warriors even more. They got what do they get hit by unbinding oh it's the is that the passability of that one nasty master of azir fast forward it in harmony stone and that one steel. gone Let's just wipe them out completely Boom. Lovely stuff. 
Well, they won't be able to hit it because they've stopped the garrison replenishing. Go. Good, good, good. Garrison all. Yep. Now Ying. You're still not going to move. Right. Let's get another turn done. They should set plus. Cool, cool, cool. We, don't have, we have a mission, actually, don't we, to get a settlement to tier 5. So that'll be good. Pretty short. Non aggression. Yeah. Um, who are you all with? You're at war with all the other ogres. I mean, that protects these lands from being invaded by ogres. I remember in Creative Assembly's video that they did as like a little um, let's play of Cathay. It was obviously highly edited, so it was more like of a highlight of a let's play run. They were like sorting out everything up here, and then they turned around. They were like, ah, oh, ogres have invaded all the way through the south, and they had ogres pressing on, on the door. I kind of wouldn't have minded that actually happening in this campaign, but with everything else that's been going on, that would, would have really pushed us um, pretty close to the edge. Uh, yeah, we'll just accept that. That's fine. But yeah, I mean, we've, we've gotten lucky with how much uh, Western provinces are pushed up. I guess it must rely on where the dissenter lords go to war with the ogres and how well or not they do. No, draw weapons. I mean, you all of these caravan stuff, if you played it where you paid up cargo all the time, you would actually have really good relations with the ogres. But I'm going the other way because I'm kind of trying to provoke the, the ogres, if anything. Cathy Eternal, we shall prevail. They have a... Both the raven. Oh, zinch. Okay. Chen, a single word. Spreading sanity wherever it's spoken. They say a large black bird was the first to utter it. And now all that hear it soon say nothing else. Laughing hysterically as they bark into, t into the ears of those around them. Chen, 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 Chen. That's, that's, that's not good. Uh, right, yeah. Upgrade French capital. And... Yeah, upgrade any settlement to level five. We get Alchemist Elixir of um, Lucience and Fences Blades. 6k ain't shabby at all. The celestial artifacts shall be mine. Okay, right. Force march you Erect the shrine to our over house. here. Oh, yeah, the ah. green skins are coming. So, Marion's still got that trait, it hasn't gone. I imagine they're going to move in on this settlement, which isn't walled, but it has a decent garrison to it. Let's bring you, Tim, back. You can still see them there. We can get ready to push. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's no greenskins around. Eep. Okay, so we're going to need to wait for them to press the attack on our settlement. Because they are coming. But if we do end up losing it, because we gain that through Confederation, if we do end up losing it, we will reclaim it fairly shortly because we're getting ready to push with both of our armies through here and finish off those green skins. I mean, oh, I could, could stop pushing. I can't actually now that we put you, Tim, in there. Minus 2k. Yeah. We've got to push next turn. So even if she's got that trait, that's, that's all the time we've got for that basically right now. Through me, you have the Celestial Emperor's favor. Hello. Join the war again. How did those ogres get in behind you there? Kang Wu. It looks like you're going to take them out. I don't think I've got any treaties with them. The Emperor. Ah, no, we did. That's wha whacked our reliability. Must have had an aggression with them. And can I encounter keep to the established route or agree to a deal? Pay the price and arrive faster, maybe. Yeah, go for it. Yes, it's removed. Good. 
Okay, yeah. So reliability tanked. We what traces did we have with you guys then? That's the blood guzzlers. That's the say that's the, not the ones we just signed a non-aggression with. We must have had a non-aggression with these guys, I guess. Obey me. Broken treaties with them. Yeah. Trying to push me around it. That's fine. We'll recover up fairly quickly. The boss. We can still actually do treaties though, so it's not because we get to see the deal chance, it's not as crippling. Because I've forgotten over time, so it will improve our rating. Just got money, we can just throw it at the problem. Um, you guys want military access. You're actually friendly. Yeah, they've done um Xiao Ming's done alright as well, not getting invaded by ogres. It's given him plenty of time to build up as well. I don't know if reliability is as big of a penalty anymore. Child of the night. Because you can kind of do your deals to get stuff yeah, done. Sugar. Gnarly tree hugger. Dragon blooded sugar gun. Force march you. Where can I go? Yeah, they can catch me. I don't want to be caught in force march. So we'll send you through here. The and we'll send Meow Ying Witness my power. there. So you're kind of trapped wherever you go. They're sieging us here. Won't be surprised if they press the attack during the enter phase. We'll fight it. Try and we'll wipe them out. Slow them down. It's going to be close. One turn left on that. And I think we'll just go back to Celestial Lake for more, more income. Five turns left. Hello, Poppets. We could possibly push out and knock these guys back if we really wanted to. Oh, we're actually under siege. Oh. That's a bit rude, isn't it? And we're taking attrition. Decisive victory. I'd like to fight to just see the Terracross Sentinel in action, but we're gonna have we're gonna have a battle against the greenskins with that anyway. So let's just knock them all down. Uh bye bye. Oh, neither of those is pretty Lives good, but yeah, let's just go for more replacement. That's going to knock it back down a bit. Maybe. Uh, yeah, destroyed. Were they remnants over from the last invasion, though? Is that why they weren't building up? Maybe. When do these guys really get into it? Oh, well, Lothar, the Warriors of Chaos. No, Lionheart, you're doing it again. You're... you're uh, you're going off about, oh, it doesn't seem that difficult. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> We've gone through blue. Yeah, we're going to go for Quartermaster, aren't we, with you? A worthy it's going to get tougher, I'm sure, Lionheart. Don't worry oh, no. about it right now. Mancer, yeah, you're in the army, so give you some spells. Uh, Curse of Midnight Wind. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Another end turn. You stand before the supreme matriarch once more. Hello, Gad. Military access to come through and stomp into. It's going after those guys, isn't it? But you wouldn't be able to through my lands anyway. I should think you're coming up this way. Are they finally going to go claim that region? You're going to go after the greenskins, aren't you? Maybe the blue vipers. Is that it? No, they're there. I don't really know why you want military access. But uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Do it. Go for ogres. Where's Gnarly Tree? I'm going to go. Yeah, he's going to pull back to the settlement. It's fine. Oh, be gone with you. Or we get a noble. An elven noble. Uh, yeah, maybe you'll be of some use. Why wouldn't you... They have a strange look in their eyes. Like, does that... Does some... How, how does that backfire? Like, surely you would want to take the character, right? I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the noble. 
All right, what can we go through here? This in this changes Yang. That is range for Jade Warrior crossbows, Jade Warrior crossbows shields. Nice. Increase our cap capacity for Astromancers. Keep going through the middle, I guess, for the moment. We don't see Dragon Edict. We have no ports <laughs> at all. That's, yeah, that's not going to be, um, yeah. Encompass cooldown. That's pretty good. Thieves Guild, post. There's so many good ones. Some nice banners up here as well. Destruction time for ports. Where are we meant to be getting these? Are we meant to, like. <laughs> are we meant to be expanding to get these ports? Keep for Yang armies. That's pretty cool. Inflow for trade, healing. Upkeep, yeah, just, I mean, just for the moment, I'm just going to push all the way through the center and then come back and decide what I want to do off the research. Um, mainly because it's easier not to destabilize things with the for tech the right now. Natural authority. Right, we can go in there and take him out. The Emperor's chosen we can move in here and take the village of the moon. Storm Let's set these armies up into position. That's a valiant defeat. That one's going to give us a hard time, is it? Yeah. That that could be fairly tough. But we have Celeste Blade and Yang is an absolute unit, so we should be able to fly her in there and do a lot of damage. Blast. We can blast down the towers with the cannon. Take our time to approach. Probably want to approach mainly from one, maybe just two sides maximum. Or maybe actually this side and say go through that center point as well. I don't think we want to spread out too much because we kind of want to cluster them up to pull some damage there. We'll probably open with that next episode. I'm thinking we'll end things today just by fighting this one. It's a period victory. Really? Oh, they've, got, they've got walls. That's why. That's why. But my Terracross Sentinels should just absolutely annihilate through here. So let's fight this battle. Unleash the fury of our Sentinels. Just try and overwhelm. Well, actually, the the towers there. That's actually pretty nasty with those towers like that. That positioning. You can go up through this section as well, can't you? Yeah, through that main gate, through the center. I think we'll focus on going in through here. It's nice to see how the minor settlement maps, how they how they've added in walls for it. it makes sense. It's just you know a step down, added a couple of plazas and walls in. Like. So far, I'm. I don't know about you. How do you guys feel about the the siege overhaul for Warhammer Three? Now it just kind of makes me, you know, wish that they'd done this from the first place because it would have been so good having games one and two like this from the very start with sieges. But I guess at least benefit of the trilogy, we we finally get to see this in its glory. Take a look at these these things. Oh yeah, yeah you look cool. Across Sentinel, cumbersome. Slower than average due to its massive limbering form. I can't wait to see their animations. Right, we're going to send you at that gate to tear the gate down, guys. Dragon and then we're going to spill on in with the Dragon Guard. We'll send some of the Dragon Guard to claim the walls as well. In fact, we'll send two of them in. Find them. The rest of you guys move in that way. Missile troops. Ready to rule. Yeah, where's my alchemist? There she is. What have you got there? Oh, they yeah, the staff. <laughs> okay. 
Let's do it. Dragon Guard. Bringing harmony. Repositioning. With joy. Immediately. Okay, yeah, rockets are not going to be fun. It is fated. Leading the way. I go where I do. Oh, cavalry. Of course, I forget about placing the cavalry. That in there, if they didn't move that cavalry, that'd be rather nice. Do one, yeah, lovely. Thanks, guys. Go, sentinels, go. Ancestral warriors could pop them in here to try and cluster them all up for another spell. Although we don't have any, have any magic now. Maybe don't do that. This way. On gilded foot. We'll take out those goblin archers. That gate's gotta come down fairly fast, surely. Bombard him there. Keep going, Dragon Guard. In you go. Send her forward a bit. Love that. Yeah, weapon teams can now go on the walls. Oh, you took a you took a beating. Your weeks. Come on, lads. We could also have one of them attack the wall actually as well. Down, we're going to neutralize those towers soon, which is good. Repositioning. A good, a good bit of damage on them over there. Get out, get out, get out. Try and get a blossom wind going. Come on, get that geek down. down. Right, let's try and tie these guys up here with the Ancestral Warriors coming in. Come on, gate. No, itself. Terracross Sentinels. Maybe it's because I'm sending both of them in at once. One's through. that blossom wind through here please Dragons, hear my eh, it's an all right spell this is the way. get down yet Stuck in. Of the winds. Yeah, plop that there. Suck them all in. Are they both through. Yes, we are. Good. Gates down. 
Finally. Charge. Rain gunners. Rain gunners. Move on up. Get up on the walls. Cavalry. Spin. Then one of you into these guys over here. Reclaim this ground for Shen Yang. Master Metallurgist. Ready to rule. It's well for that. They're getting ruined. Troops up on the walls now. Lost 300 or so so far. It's not bad though for a siege. Pop that there. Ah, I was hoping we suck them in a bit more. Leash my sentinel's fury. That's that spin with the was it a dual glaive? That's great. Oh, let's swing behind. Yes, sentinels. Now you can kind of see the dust coming off them as well. That's awesome. New favorite construct unit. Close victory. That'll do. 273 loss, not bad. 277 kills with uh, Yuan Shan Fu. Nice, nice, nice. Give us some loot. Yep, yep. And we'll occupy. Village of the Moon. Oh, nice. We got lucky. No yin yang to destabilize stuff. Let's get defenses in first before we choose which thing we're going to destabilize things with. So we should then actually do some tech to get that sorted. Um, what are we going to go for here? Village of the Moon. Yeah, got a bit of construction. We could do growth. Yang there, growth, uh, in different buildings. Probably go for this one. The Labour Conscription Bureau. So that is going to be Yang. So we need a Yin to put it back the other way. I mean, we could hopefully just balance it back with Xing Po. Rather than worrying about technology. Because we're going to move down to that next turn. Maybe turn off. What's the garrison like? I oh, know we can go straight for that one. Because we don't have an army in there, we're fine. Immortality. Yep, 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 yep. And we haven't put a point in all of your spells. The only one actually we haven't put one in is second one into Missile Mirror and Cloak of Jets. So go for that. And then I guess so let's buff up your troops next once we finish off Cloak of Jet. Although am I ever am I ever gonna use that? Probably not right now, so we'll move on to red line next. It is mine by blood rights. Uh, yeah, go for enhanced. And then this point, you guys weigh in the comment section. Let me know. Should it go for enhanced, uh, metallurgy, uh, flaming, piercing, or poison? Flaming, piercing, or poison? Let me know in the comment section. We'll pop that in next time after we've opened fighting this battle. Be pretty tough, but I reckon, as I said, if we form up primarily. Once the map loads. Anytime now, map. If we form up all the way along this side and then send some troops through the center point there, I reckon it'll cluster them together. We can use Miao Ying's magic and hopefully absolutely devastate these guys, plus obviously dragon, dragon form her as well. Use our cannons and rockets to blast out any defense they have here and then just push in and try and overwhelm them. 
yeah we'll open with that at the start of the next episode until then i hope you guys have enjoyed don't forget to comment rate and subscribe follow me on facebook and twitter take part the legion check out my affiliates and sponsors games planet and overclockers uk till the next one ciao for now